Hey everybody, today I'm doing a resin pour. I used mica colors. Um, unfortunately, I made part of the video and the first part didn't record. So I mixed up um, purple, blue, white, and orange, and green. I put them all into one cup and poured it onto the canvas. The canvas I painted gold with gold spray paint. And now I'm using a clear resin on the edges. Okay, so I finished all the clear on the edges and right now I'm just torching the resin and popping all the bubbles. I'm also heating it up so I can move it around a little bit. So I'm just picking up the canvas and moving it from side to side trying to get the resin to move a little bit. I probably should have used a little bit more color, but I'm gonna add more color as I go. Now when I move it, you can actually see the different colors, the green, the blue, the purple, the orange. You don't see too much of the orange until I move it a certain way. But I'll add more as we go. So right now I'm just going to get the blow dryer and blow dry it. Move that ink around. It's like all one color, which I'm not loving, so I learned my lesson. I won't dirty pour mica colors again because they are pretty iridescent and they all blended in together. And this canvas is pretty warped in the center here. Big old piece of dust. That's a lot of resin in the middle, a lot. Oh my goodness, it drive you crazy. Oh my goodness gracious. I want my little stand back. Look how thick that is. That's a lot of resin. Yes it is.
I'm trying to salvage this piece, but it doesn't look like it's happening. Oh, so much resin on here. I'm not sure what to do. And there's so much resin. I don't understand why this canvas was so... Yeah, I, I mean, I work on canvases all the time, but this is like crazy amount of resin in the center. Well, so much for my gold. I'm covering it up, obviously. Okay, where's my cups? Oh, these cups drive me crazy. Where's my other cup? Where are you, cup? <sighs> Well, it sure does look better than it did, right? There's always a way of salvaging these pieces. Normally, I would do a second coat. Have it in my dark purple. Where's my dark purple? Wow, that's a lot of resin there, bud. A lot of resin. Okay, so my camera stopped videoing again. Sorry about that. I was actually just picking up the canvas and moving it side to side a little bit. So you might have missed a little bit of that. And I'm just going to add a little bit more color here and there. I don't like that, whatever that is. So I'm going to fix it, whatever it might be. I like this dark purple. It's pretty. One more time with the torch and I'll be done. Couple more drops, that's all we need. Okay. 
Okay. I like the white. It needed a little pop of something there, and I think the white gave it to it. Gave me that. You can still see some of the gold through it, which is cool. I didn't cover it all the way up. I can see like the gold through the whole thing webbing out. I like that. There is a lot of resin in there, so it's probably gonna take a few days to dry for sure. And you see how I'm heating it up, it moves it. Yep. -er. I like it though. I think it's cool. I like it a lot. I like it. I like it. Every time I see people on uh, YouTube moving their painting around, I'm like, stop. It looks so good. Or sometimes I'm like, move it a little bit more. Just a little bit. Okay. I think. I think. I think. I think I'm going to call it a day. Yeah, because if I keep moving it, I'm going to just... I don't even know. Looks like a stone. Maybe I do need to move it just a little bit. What do you guys think? I'll take the camera down in a minute and show you. You know, I can never just leave it alone. That's the problem. I think I liked it before, but that's okay. I was just bound and determined to salvage this piece. I think I did. I think it looks good. I love it now. I'm happy. I think it looks pretty cool. Okay, I'm done. I'm taking the camera down so you can view it. So if you liked my video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Ring that little bell so you get notifications. Everything I used in this video is listed underneath the description. Um, thanks for watching, everybody.